Are you as comfortable with inequalities as equations? I'm assuming that the answer will be no for most of you. Well, this is because we do a lot more of equations at school compared with inequalities. We see linear, quadratic, cubic, higher power equations, but not so much with inequalities. If you're not so sure about where you stand with inequalities, let me just put you to a small test. So this is a very conceptual test. I'll tell you what inferences we'll make from this. I'm going to bring in four statements and you just need to mark true or false. Okay. After that, I'll tell you the correct answers. So here's statement one. We cannot subtract two inequalities. True or false? Statement two. If x plus one is less than five, then negative of x plus one is greater than minus five. Statement three. Any two inequalities can be added to each other, just like two equations can be. And statement four. If x over y is less than one, then x is less than y. Simple cross multiplication. Okay, I hope you have your answers. Now I am going to reveal them. Here you go. The blue happy faces, these are true statements and these yellow sad faces, these are false statements. Did you get all of it correct? And if you did, were you sure of your answers? Were you 100% confident why you were marking something true versus false? If your answer is no, you know, you got something wrong or you were not as sure, then you have conceptual gaps. But if you're good to go till here, the ones who got this correct and were sure, let me take you to the next stage. Here now, I'm going to bring two easy questions, okay, and see how you feel about them. This is the first one. You have a linear inequality and you need to find the range of x. Now, this is the second one. It looks a little bit more complicated, has more information. You have two inequalities, two variables, m and n, then non-negative integral values. It has a lot more stuff than the previous question did. Did this already scare you or do you feel okay? If you feel okay, if you feel good about it, then simple application you have under control. If yes, then let me take you to the next stage of testing. But if no, you know you have gaps here. Stage three, hard questions. Look at this. Do you feel confident that you will be able to do this in under two minutes? Just read it once and you'll understand why I'm saying this is more complicated. The sheer fact that you want to find out positive difference between minimum possible x and minimum possible y and you have a system of inequalities not equations means this is going to take effort. Can you solve this in under two minutes? Yes? Look at one more. This now is a very fancy looking inequality. It's a higher order inequality. If you look at the powers, it's going all the way till the seventh power. And even then, it's not just saying find x. It's saying how many of the x's that work here are less than or equal to 6. Another inequality embedded in this, less than or equal to 6. Do you feel confident with this as well? That yes, I can do this easily in under 2 minutes. Or did both of these questions scare you? If they did scare you, even then don't worry. We have got you covered. Well, we are coming up with this webinar on inequalities where we will cover linear inequalities, quadratic, higher order inequalities on the 14th of July, coming Thursday, 9 p.m. IST or 8.30 a.m. PST, where we will help you go from 600 to 750 level in just one hour. We will be solving 700 level questions in under two minutes. We will first recap concepts because some of you might be rusted as you saw from the, you know, the video that we just came up with. And then we will apply all of these concepts on GMAT style questions. So if you know you are rest rusted on the concepts, then you know you already need this. If you know you have issues with simple application also, you need this. If simple application is covered with the harder questions, still don't make you feel absolutely confident, you still need this. You need this if you're not absolutely comfortable with inequalities because I promise you will go out absolutely confident from this session. I hope to see you on the inside. And wait, the good stuff does not end here. There is more to come. You get a lot of free resources on registering for this webinar. 170 plus questions on algebra. This is on the EGMAT platform. You get access to all of these. You get 25 plus hours of video lessons created by world-class top-rated GMAT experts. 400 plus 
total questions. This is besides algebra and then seven plus webinars. This is one webinar that we're talking about here, but you get a lot more when you register. I'm sure nobody would want to miss out on all of this and that positivity that you get that, oh, I'm going to go in and come out a lot stronger in this topic that scares me till now. I hope to see you on the inside. Happy learning.